Hey friends, it's Miss Kayla here, and today we're going to be talking about something that's happening tomorrow. Tomorrow is election day, and an election is where adults get to go vote for who they want to be in charge. It's a very special election coming up because we're going to be voting for a president. Today, our story is called Duck for President. Let's turn it around and get started. Duck for President. There's our title page. There's one of our vocabulary words, vote. Running a farm is very hard work. At the end of each day, Farmer Brown is covered from head to toe in hay, horsehair, seeds, sprouts, feathers, filth, mud, muck, and coffee stains. And he doesn't smell very good either. The animals have chores to do too. Pigs, clean under your bed. Cows, weed the garden. Sheep, sweep the barn. Duck, take out the trash. Mow the lawn. Grind coffee beans. At the end of the day, the pigs are covered in lint bunnies. The cows are covered in weeds. And the sheep are covered in dust. And duck is covered in tiny bits of grass and espresso beans. Wow, they all look really tired. Duck did not like to do chores. He did not like picking the tiny bits of grass and espresso beans out of his feathers. Why is Farmer Brown in charge anyway, thought Duck. We need an election. There's that word, election. He made a sign and hung it up on the barn. Farmer Brown must go. Farm election tomorrow. <clears throat> The next morning, Farmer Brown found the poster on his front door. Vote Duck for a kinder, gentler farm. Look at his face. He looks really surprised. Farmer Brown was furious. He ran to the barn and found the animals registering to vote. Voter registration. Voters must live on the farm. Show valid ID. The mice got together and protested the height requirement, so Duck crossed it off. On election day, each of the animals filled out a ballot. There's another one of our words, ballot. That's a piece of paper, or sometimes it's on the computer, and you choose who you're going to vote for on your ballot. And they placed it in the box. The votes were counted, and the results were posted on the barn wall. Farmer Brown, 6. Duck, 20. Hmm, I wonder which one is more, 6 or 20. Farmer Brown demanded a recount. One sticky ballot was found stuck on the bottom of a pig. The new tally was Farmer Brown, 6. Duck, 21. The voters had spoken. Duck was officially in charge. Running the farm was very hard work. At the end of the day, Duck was covered from head to toe in hay, horsehair, seeds, sprouts, feathers, filth, mud, muck, and coffee stains. Running a farm is no fun at all, thought Duck. That night, Duck and his staff started working on Duck's campaign for governor. Vote for me. I'm a duck, not a politician. Duck left Farmer Brown in charge and hit the campaign trail. He went to small town diners. He marched in parades. He went to town meetings. And he gave speeches that only other ducks could understand. On election day, the voters filled out their ballots in booths all over the state. The vote was counted and the results were posted in a local newspaper. It says, duck wins by a nose. The governor demanded a recount. Two sticky ballots were found on the bottom of a plate of pancakes. 
the new tally was, Mrs. Governor, 299,999. Duck, 300,002. The, votes ha the voters had spoken. Duck was officially in charge. Running a state is very hard work. At the end of each day, duck was covered from head to toe in hairspray, ink stains, scotch tape, fingerprints, mayonnaise, and coffee stains. And he had a very bad headache. Running a state is no fun at all, thought duck. That night, duck and his staff started working on posters for the presidential election. A duck for a change. I like duck. Duck, making us proud again. Duck left his staff in charge, and he hit the campaign trail. He kissed babies in local diners. He rode in parades. He gave speeches only other ducks could understand. And he even played the saxophone on late-night television. On election day, the voters filled out their ballots in booths all over the country. The vote was counted, and the results were announced on CNN. The president demanded a recount. Ten sticky ballots were found on the bottom of the vice president. The new tally was 50,546,165 for Mr. President. Oh, and it looks like Mr. Duck has more. 50,546,180 votes for Duck. The voters had spoken. Duck was officially in charge. Running a country is very hard work. At the end of the day, Duck was covered in head to toe in face powder, paper cuts, staples, security badges, secret service agents, and coffee stains. And he had a very bad headache. Running a country is no fun at all, thought Duck. Then he checked the Help Wanted ads. Duck needed no experience necessary. Must be able to mow the lawn and grind coffee beans. Duck left the vice president in charge and headed back to the farm. At the end of each day, Farmer Brown is now covered from head to toe in hay, horsehair, seeds, sprouts, feathers, filth, mud, muck, and coffee stains. And Duck is working on his autobiography. The end. Friends, that was Duck for President.